we got a legendary. So just like that, it actually works. We turned a rare fish into a legendary. Okay, fishing's been out long enough that basically all the smart people in the community were able to come together and figure out exactly how fishing works and figure out the exact fastest way to min-max getting the higher tier fish. So if you're trying to get the mythic, legendary, basically the rarer fish, this is going to be your min-max method to do it. So if you look at this here, how to reliably predict the rarity of the fish. This is the first thing we need to understand. And I'll have a link down to this post so you can actually use these images. Images, but basically you can determine whether or not a fish while you're fishing in the game is going to be a higher tier rarity or not. Now, what's crucially important to understand is what rarity of fish you're catching is extremely tied to how much reward you're going to be getting. So much so that you want to basically bypass the rare fish and only go for legendary or mythic fish. Let me show you why. Rare fish are worth 1,000 gold, 6,700 experience, and you get one opportunity to row a legendary item. The legendary items are worth 4,000 gold, 135,800 experience, and two chances for a legendary item. The mythic purple here is 8,000 gold, 543,000 experience, and three chances for a legendary. So effectively, what we want to do is reduce the amount of yellow fish we're catching and increase the amount of legendary and mythic fish we're catching. And there is a trick for us to do this because even the legendary is worth effectively about 20 times the value of the rare fish in terms of actual experience evaluation and 4X the gold and at least double the opportunity for legendary items. If you look in the game, I'll just explain this very briefly you can see the comments here the or let's just call it gray blue and yellow regions of the bars but are where you catch the different tier of fish however not all fish are created equal within that as well because if you actually look at it here some of the bars in the yellow will be smaller than the other ones the area of which you can hover is less and those means it's rarer. So if it's the smaller area, while you actually are in the yellow area of fishing, then it's a mythic. Whereas if it's in, let's say the bigger area of the blue, then that is going to be an uncommon. Okay, so you understand how that works. That's pretty much that simple. You can tell whether or not it's a good fish before you actually hook it. Then we pair this with a smart trick that I saw first here from Funktastic Gaming. And this was a really smart tip that I hadn't thought about out at all. I want to do a big shout out to Funktastic. He linked this one to us in our Discord to look at this tip, and I'll have a link down in his video as well. You should subscribe to him. I'll give him a like on this video. So this is a smart tip. What he figured out is you can basically just not hook a fish. So I'll show you in game here. So when a fish comes up, I'm just going to pause real quick. And when the fish comes up, let me show you how this works. Okay, so here we have a fish. I'm gonna go ahead and catch it. Now, if you look at the size of the bar, I can determine that looks like too big of a bar. The fish is broken free and I will recast my net, but within the same yellow area, essentially allowing us to have another opportunity to catch another fish that is of that yellow area of the bar without having to wait the two and a half minutes to get there. Now, a couple points here, if you look the rare and legendary difference, if you actually look at the rare and legendary and mythic difference, are, they look pretty similar. So you can't really tell the size difference if there is any at all between these. What this chart does fail to mention is how quickly these bars actually move. So one thing you can determine to whether or not it's going to be a high quality fish or not is uh, when you're actually pulling it in, when the bar is moving, how quickly and, and the cadence of which it's moving is going to help determine how rare that fish is. So if it's moving very slowly and just barely moving at all, then it's, it's like a yellow, okay? But if it's moving more difficulty, it's going to be like a legendary or mythic fish. Let me give you an example. Okay, looks like we got one on here. Okay, so let's see how quickly it moves. So that's a pretty slow move and it's not moving very often. Like the cadence of which it's moving is fairly slow. So this is probably just a yellow fish. And there we go, it's a yellow fish. Let's test our knowledge again. Okay, here we go with the next fish. Oh, he just broke off the line. I looked down for a text message for one second and the next one breaks off the line too. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this one is slow moving and it looks like a fairly large bar. So I believe this is going to be another yellow. There it is, another yellow. So since able to pretty much predict it, what I would do then is next time I'm catching, I think it's gonna be a yellow, I would just break it off the line. This is basically just like re-rolling the fish. You can only really do it one time, maybe twice, cause you don't get too many opportunities within that yellow bar there before you go too far. Okay, here we go, we got a fish. So now we're gonna catch it and we're gonna see how quickly it's moving. It's moving really slowly, not that often. 
So we're gonna let it break off the line and then we're gonna try catching another one. We're, we're re-rolling the fish basically. Time for the next fish and now we can catch another one. This one's fairly slow too, so this is probably another yellow, okay? So I would either have to gamble for the third one or I'd have to take it. I'm just gonna take it and there it is, it's a yellow. So it does seem actually like fairly consistent that we can reliably predict based upon the cadence of it and the sizing of the bar. A couple points to this as well. Um, it takes more bait to use this sort of trick because if you are breaking it off the line, it takes the bait with it. So recasting the line is essentially another bait. So if you're catching a fish, oh, this is a yellow, I wanna re-roll this fish, see if I can get a mythic. Um, when you do that, minus one bait. So it is gonna take a little bit of your gold profit away because of this. Yes, you're still gonna be catching more fish um, in terms of the higher quality ones, but you are still going to be catching some yellow fish because you can only really get this trick in like once or twice, or you're really risking uh, the potential of not catching a fish during that catch at all. And then you have to go another two and a half minutes. And the whole point of the trick is to, you know, try to get as many attempts at a mythic fish uh, in particular. However, the reward breakdown of what you actually get for the fish is quite important. Here we have another fish that I think is going to be just a rare fish. So I'm going to break it off the hook one more time. And less than a minute later, actually about 50 seconds later, we get another attempt at another fish. So this is giving us quicker attempts at getting these yellow fish, but I'm just going to catch this one because if I let it off the hook, I might not have enough time to catch another one. So you can kind of understand how that logic works. I just let another fish off the hook there because it looked like a rare. Let's see what we're rewarded with instead. Looks like another rare. Man, I'm only catching rares today. Can I at least get a legendary, please? That would be lovely. I think I'm just gonna let it off the hook. We're just gonna try again. Okay, here we go. One last attempt before the time's up. And what we got here? Okay, it's you know, that seems a little bit faster. That does seem a little bit faster. Okay, so there we go. We dropped a rare off and we're getting something that's not a rare. We got a legendary. So just like that, it actually works. We turned a rare fish into a legendary. Oh no, the gig is up, I've been spotted. They're all here to say hello. Chart that I'm going to link to here. If you scroll down, look at the comments, he breaks down basically what the experience gold, and he got this backwards, it's actually gold and experience, et cetera, and chances for legendary items. Um, but essentially, the mythic fish, to give you an idea, has a base of like 543,000 experience is what it looks like, where the legendary is 135,000. So we can actually test this right now to see how accurate this is. So if we go here, and we go to the fish trading. Let's see how much experience we're going to get right now for this. So let's go ahead and look at our experience. And this will tell us we have 210 experience, okay? We have 1,078,000 experience and we should be receiving about 6,700 experience base, which should be about 14,000. We should get just about 14,000 more experience. So we should be looking at somewhere in the 90s by the time we trade in one blue fish, if these numbers are accurate or one, uh, I should say one yellow fish. So there we go. We have received that. Now let's actually look at our experience and see what we got from the experience. And there it is, 92, which would be exactly just about 14,000. So that does look accurate. So now if we're turning in the legendary fish, for instance, the legendary fish is supposed to give you 135,000 experience. So we turn in the legendary fish, 135,000 should be like 270,000. And then there we go. There is the number exactly as we should be able to predict. So what this actually means is um, because the fish are exponentially more rewarding, meaning the legendaries are way more rewarding than the rares, you basically want to completely ignore your rares. And if you ignore the rares, uh, you could essentially catch, what is the math, uh, 20 rares, just about 20 of these rares here in napkin math, um, in order to get one legendary fish. So you should basically always be, if you're worried about the experience, you should basically always be letting your rare fish go. That's basically the trick, it's that simple. If you want more fishing stuff, more conversation, I'll put another a video here, shout out. This is Echo Gaming, he's got another fishing guide out here. You can go watch him talk about fishing. He's got some people from the comments he puts up that talks about their fishing experience as well. So that's a pretty good conversation. I know there's a lot of people that actually really enjoy fishing in Diablo and Mordo, and uh, for some reason, people are gobbling up that content as well. So thanks for watching these videos. Hope this tip helps, it definitely helped me. Shout out to everyone in the sources. Go check them all out and give them some love. See you guys on the next video.